Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Mother's Day is coming up in Australia and every year I put together a hamper for my mum. So this year I thought I would show you exactly how I do it, all the bits and pieces that's included. And I've got a bonus tutorial on how I make a DIY eternal rose box. So if you are looking to put something together for mum, keep on watching. So this is everything I have chosen to put in my Mother's Day hamper today. What I would recommend is to have a theme for it. So whether it be wellness, health and beauty, anything that your mum is into, set a theme so you can buy bits and pieces that go with that theme. Pick things that are the similar colors. So my mum's favorite color is purple. So I've gone with the purple roses today and also pink and purple complement each other. So what we have here is a sleep well set that just includes an eye mask and then a little fragrance roller, a mug cake baking kit. So this is like one of those cake mug cakes that you can put in the microwave. All the ingredients are with it. There's a bit of chocolate. She loves chocolate, so I picked up some Lindor's. This one's a cute specialty Mother's Day um, tin. So I thought that would be really cute. I've also picked up one of these shampoo brushes. I've been using one of these myself and I've really enjoyed it. So I thought I'd get one for mum. I've also got a beauty product in here. This one is the Rare Beauty Dewy Liquid Blush. This is my absolute favorite beauty product at the moment. It's in the shade Happy, so it matches like the hamper colors. It will be stunning for her, so I grabbed her one of those. I also have three items from my brand Matchy. So I've got the coin purse, the scrunchie, and the toiletry bag, all in the pink flower bed print. Everything here matches, which will look really cute in the overall box. To finish everything off, I have got a wooden like crate here. This is something that I've had in the home for a while. It's not getting any use, so I'm gonna put everything in it. Mum can choose to keep it or give it back to me, whatever. Um, but definitely pick the box first before picking your items to go in it, just to make sure everything fits really nicely and you're not spending any extra money you don't need to. So the star of the Mother's Day gift are my DIY Eternal Roses. So you might have seen Eternal Roses all over Instagram, but the price point definitely makes them something that's only an occasional item. It's quite expensive to get preserved roses. The total of all of these at my local spotlight came to $34.95. A few items were on sale, so I definitely recommend grabbing things when they're on sale. So you will need a gifting box. You can, you do traditionally see these in a round gifting box, but because my hamper is rectangular, I've chosen a rectangular gifting box. If you have a circular hamper, I would definitely recommend going with a circular gifting box just so everything matches. You're going to need the dry floral foam that we're going to cut up, fit it in the box, and then we're going to put these ones in. I also have some purple rib ribbon to attach around the outside of the box when we are finished. I'm going to switch over to a voiceover now and I'll show you the top down of arranging everything together. So let's get started. Hey guys, it's voiceover me now. So Firstly, you're gonna to wanna to get your floral foam and measure up the size of the box. A cheat way to do this is to just place your foam over the box, grab your cutting utensil and then measuring it out that way and making one nice cut. With that off cut, you're then just gonna to wanna to divide it evenly and put it into the empty spaces that are left over in the box. A little tip here, if you're finding that the foam is moving around a lot or if you cut it too short, you can attach some double-sided tape to the bottom of the box and that way it'll just help to tack down that floral foam. Next, you're going to grab your foam roses and just roughly measure in how much stem you're going to need to cut off. You will need to cut all of the stems for them to fit because the idea behind the Eternal Rose box is that you just see the top of the rose from the edge of the box so i've cut mine in 
about half and I did that to all my roses. Then when you're laying everything out, I recommend starting in each of the four corners and then working your way from the outside and then going in. So you'll see here, I'll speed everything up so we can get through it quickly, but I do the four corners and then I work my way from the outside in. Once you're happy with the arrangement of all of your foam roses, I then take the ribbon and just wrap it neatly around the box and finish it off with a pretty bow. Next, we're moving on to this hamper. I'm going to take that same ribbon and wrap it around my hamper box. That way they just match nicely. The stuffing I have featured in this wooden box is just leftover tissue paper. Anything shredded paper, shredding your own recycled paper. As always, I encourage you to find what you have around the home before going out and purchasing something like this. We're putting in the hamper today one toiletry bag. Like I said, this one is from my brand Matchy. This is the pink flower bed toiletry bag. I'm then adding in a coin purse. She already has this same one in the green, but I think it's time that she owns the pink one. I'm then adding in a scrunchie for her hair. Obvious reasons, scrunchies are elite. We're then adding the sleep well set. How I'm stacking all of this is starting off with the largest product first and then working my way down to the smallest product. So really just layer your pieces based off the biggest first and then the bulkiest at the front. Okay, and that is everything put together. I hope you enjoyed this video and please remember to subscribe if you like this content. I also share stuff on my small business journey as well as a bit of behind the scenes with my brand. So definitely give me a subscribe if you wanna see more videos and I'll see you in the next one.